hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to send an attachment using send an email action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop in the premium feature we have office 365 outlook and under this category we have send an email right in this action first of all we have an option to create a connection reference once you will click on connection reference you will get an option to create a new connection I will click on connection references here you can see that a connection reference is already created for me if I want to create a new connection reference I will click on add new connection reference and then I will click on create new once you will click on create new you will have to enter the email ID and password and once the authentication is done your connection will be established and a reference will be created as a connection reference is already created for me I will just click on OK to close this window and here you can see that we have three important fields one is two where you need to specify the recipients email IDs and here in the subject you have to specify the subject of the email and then you have the body further once you will click on advanced you can specify the sender email you can specify the people in CC and BCC here is the important part of this action if you want to attach an attachment in this email you need to click on edit and then you need to click on more where you can specify the name of the attachment and content bytes now the thing is that how do I get this content bytes for that what you need to do is you need to use an action which is named as convert a file to binary data okay so we will see that in action in few moments for now I will click on close and here in the sensitive field you can specify the sensitivity of the email right you can specify the email ID whom you want to reply to and you can also specify the importance and the timeout further you have an option to use the on error property in case this action fails so if you want to do some error handling you can click on on error and here you can apply your error handling mechanism I will click on return to parameters and then I will click on cancel and here what I will do is first of all I will create two input variables one will be the email ID whom I want to send an email so I will just mention to email data type is going to be text default value I will leave it as blank and the external name is going to be the to email default value I will specify the email ID here okay if you want to make this variable as sensitive I will enable this and if you want to make this input variable as optional you can enable this but in our case to email is going to be a required field so I will leave it as it is 
so here what i will do is i will enter the default value for this variable and then i will click on save so the value has been set and the variable has been marked as sensitive i will create another variable i'll name it as from email data type is going to be text in the default value i'll specify the name of the or the email id from where i want to send this email an external name and variable name i'm going to keep it as same i'll mark it as sensitive after entering the value in the default value field i'll click on save so now i have two variables one is from email and then we have two email here in the file explorer you can see that i have a file which is named as test and here i have some data which is hello world i can enter some more data as technical training please subscribe the channel i will press ctrl s to save and then i will close it i will copy the file path and then i will minimize the file explorer now what i will do is i will go to file from here i will use convert file to binary data here i'll specify the file path i will remove the double quotes and binary data is going to be stored in the binary data variable i will click on save and then i will run the flow so the binary data is stored in this variable now i will go to office 365 outlook from here i will take send an email connection reference is already created and then i will use to email in the subject i will specify send an attachment in the body i will specify the some text i please find the attachment and regards technical training now we'll click on advanced here i'll specify the from email and then i will click on edit i will click on more and here i'll specify the name of the file which is going to be there in the attachment so it is not the name of the file from where you have read the data any name you can give for the attachment so for example i read the data from test.txt but here i can give as test underscore 2.txt so when the recipient receives this email they will have an attachment with the name as test underscore 2 in the content bytes i will use variable which is binary data and then i will click on ok and then i will click on save now what i will do is i will click on run to see if it is able to send out an email with the attachment provided the execution has completed successfully now we will see the email here you can see that 
we have got an email with the subject which we had given while sending out an email and here you see that we have a attachment which is test underscore 2 and here is the body of the email okay now I will open this attachment here you can see the content of that email okay so I'll close it so this is how you can send out an attachment using send an email action of office 365 outlook in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day